truck just moved on its fucking own. Right it's not, it's you. fucking. A right, I think I just heard it right. Dude, behind you. Was there killing going on down here? Scream and scream of a baby. Yeah, it was like the scream of a fucking baby. Hotel, home of the blue dress. Sorrow, guilt, and evil all residing within a century old building on a lonesome coast of Washington. And the stories, both documented and undocumented, are suspect to such a description. The death of a family caught in a fire, a 19th century immigrant who still calls the Victorian structure his home, a priest who was suspected of approving and participating in some of the most horrific acts of murder imaginable, and the woman in blue, whose restless lonesome heart can be seen and heard echoing the halls of this three-story tall historic artifact. To think that all these people's stories could very well be lingering within the compounds of this hotel is something that shouldn't be taken with the faint of heart. This is later proved to us as we investigate the building tonight and is exactly why I brought my two best friends and guests, Damiano and Jerry. But what happens tonight is more than what we could have bargained for at the Palace Hotel. What? All right, so what, I, what we're gonna do here um, is explore some of these woods. Six feet. Oh, thank you. I almost had a panic attack here for a second. Jeez, got my blood boiling. If I were to go ghost hunting with anyone, it'd be these guys. We've been friends since high school. Uh, we've, uh, you know, done plenty of satanic rituals together. Four hours of sleep on this shit. He drags us out. We didn't even want to do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys then. Yeah, and this is the point in the video where, uh, do we really need Anthony for this shit? Do we? Yes, what, the what I thought. Fuck Take off. Yeah, yeah, guys. Fuck Anthony. This is our channel now. Good starter up. Yeah, just, Fuck this. Yeah, you take that real quick. Gotcha. We're out. Let's leave his ass. There's enough of this guy's shit. Who does he think he is? Right? Fucking out. Out of here. Bye, Anthony. Bye. Hey, fuck you. Who fuck you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck him. <laughs> okay, sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you might want to sign up the ghost book. I'm sorry, wait, ghost book? Yeah, we have letters from the last 40 plus years of people who stayed here with themselves. 40 years? And don't forget this, that's important. Oh yeah, we got to read it. Thank you, thank you. Have a good one. I don't usually have good experience oh, in amazing. elevators when it comes. That's the lady in blue. That's the lady in blue. That's the one. That's, uh, that's Miss Claire. The Palace Hotel was built by a wealthy sailor named Captain Tibbles in 1887. He had begun the construction of the building that was meant to last forever. By 1889, he managed to build the hotel, but based on local rumors, it is said that the hotel had burnt down, causing the death of an Indian mother and a child named Adam. Decades later, during the Prohibition era, the building was then turned into a brothel. This was when they renamed the hotel the Palace of Suites, hosting dozens of rooms, and to this day, those same rooms are named after the women who had occupied them over a century ago. The most infamous of these rooms is room number four, the Miss Claire Suite. Nicknamed the Lady in Blue, her portrait can be seen hanging on the top of the staircase as she gazes into the eyes of every entering guest, known to be the spirit of a restless and heartbroken prostitute who worked at the Palace of Suites and is rumored to still be looking for her true love to this day. As cliche as that may sound, the stories surrounding her paranormal actions are some of the most disturbing 
anything we have ever heard on this channel, and such stories will be discussed later in the video. This is not what I was expecting. Dude, this painting, man, I, I can't, there's something about this painting that just freaks me out. The way she looks, she just looks like hope. That's Claire. That's who's in our room. She looks like she's been through something. Is it Miss Claire? Is it right here? It's Miss Claire. This is it. Right here. Oh my god. There's so much stuff that can move in here. I know. Well, we'll come back. Three, four, five. When you look on the outside of this place, you don't expect it to look like this inside. Alright, let's go upstairs. Oh shit! This is pretty big because it extends to over here and then you can go downstairs again to like another area. There's more rooms down there. Oh, let's go check that out. Let's go check that out. It's just a maze. Like, so we're on the fourth floor right now. Look, Miss Simone. Can you imagine it just like sits back? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna be like paranoid on the toilet. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's every haunted place here. Either paranoid on the toilet or paranoid to take a shower. Okay, we're gonna sit down and read what's in this book. All right, this is the ghost book that they gave us. Front desk, please read, check out information in the accommodation. Nice, what is this? New moon! Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Well, yeah, and he says that this is uh, over the course of 40 right years. So we could all see this yeah. Ghost book of Fort Townsend. Of Fort Townsend. So not just, not just of the hotel. What? No fucking way. What? Here, hold this. Hold this on me. Dude, no fucking way. Look at this. It says, the moral of the story, thou shall not snore in room four. Don't Damn. snore. Dude, I got bad yeah, snoring. I snore bad. I, I'm like a fucking raw, 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 what Is this really, another person? It's just, yeah, just random stuff. It says, when you break it down, what really matters is the people. We will be forever. May the truth of life come to you as real as the desk we are shared. Surely you to will the truth and eternity of sharing life on earth. God bless. Reveal the truth. Reveal his truth. It, look right here. Images. Oh shit. Ghost orbs. Right here and right here. You can't really see him. I can't even see him with my eye. The camera can probably see as much as we can. To whom it may concern, some of the accounts of the file may be true, some may not, but the fact of the matter is that we saw her. This guy typed it out. This one was a 1991. I would like to relate to you an astonishing in incident. The room we stayed in, and room nine, Miss Lily, which I think is, I think is, I think that's upstairs. I think that's upstairs. upstairs. So they stayed in room nine, where upon retiring for the night, I slept in the bedroom with uh, the brass bed. My son slept in the lying room on the pull-out sofa. So they both, so one slept on the sofa, one slept on the bed. The bed sank down as someone climbed into the bed with me Fuck. when he was sleeping. It, he couldn't see anything. It was very dark. But then he became wide awake and thought to himself that it must be my son. That's who it's got to be. I went back to sleep uh, thinking my son was on the, uh, on the bed, but he was actually on the sofa when he turned. In my 71 years of living, the supernatural has been a hoax, but now I could be a believer. What's the answer to this? It's very enjoyable. Okay, so that happened. Damn. So. Uh. It's his own like book of what he's experienced here. There's so much to read here. This guy literally wrote a short story about that room.
went down to the basement, she talked with the spirit of a vagrant who used to sleep there. Okay, well, that's it. That's all right. We we have enough information. Why? I thought I heard someone talk. I heard something over there. Mm, I didn't hear anything. So we found a couple things in our research. Uh, basically what happened was we read, we read this whole book right here. Some of it I, I couldn't um, make out, but there was some things that really, that really um, kept on me. Some things have a lot to do with like knocks, but I wanted to know some of the juicy ones. So in the book, orbs are very consistent as well as screams at this door. Cries too. Cries. That's one thing that Is I that found, what you read as well? That's one thing that I found in my, uh, in back when we were reading online, was that people would hear uh, mourns of Claire herself. So what had happened was this one lady thing in this room, she walked out here, looked at the painting, heard a scream saying, you can't have him, heard something shaking, and then she ran as she was looking at the painting out there. Also, I read something that said this was shaking. Like that. In this closet, somebody said that they had heard a growl coming from this closet. A DMX. DMX intro. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say DMX? <laughs> bam! Bam! Apparently this hotel is home to what? 10? I think 10 spirits? Yes, 10 spirits. Wait. There is still one last story from this book that you need to hear. A story so disturbing that it forced us to rethink the way we see spirits residing at the Palace Hotel. The following story comes directly from a letter written in 1947. It was a peaceful evening in Port Townsend where a couple were having a romantic evening near the town's beach. They attended a party, had a long walk, had dinner, and then eventually checked into the Palace Hotel in room four. Once they were unpacked, well rested, and getting ready for a night's sleep, the guy, he, he was, uh, well. I shouldn't read that. Was deeply thrusted in my wife. <laughs> <laughs> During their romantic moment, the man looked to his wife's face and what he saw was the woman from the portrait, specifically the woman in blue. As her face seemed to have shifted from his wife's face to that of Claire's, he quickly backed away, looked at her face, and saw a sinister smile on her as she asked, what's wrong? After this event had taken place, the man concluded in his letter that if he were ever to return, he hopes to one day have a moment with Claire again, but next time, alone. And there was also something about how there's a dark or black shadow that roams the halls too and that's oh, yeah, like I'm a sinister, that right now. that's a sinister, yeah. A shadowy figure that stalks people through the hallway. Like it's not like just there, like it will watch you. Actually watch. Yeah. That's, that's another reason why I think whatever's here is sinister. We're only at 10 minutes down there, mm -hmm. but the first place we're gonna look at is the basement. Now again, the basement is said to have had babies buried underneath the floorboard. No one can 100% confirm it, Maybe the maids made it up. So that said, y'all, we'll see you guys at 7.15. Peace. All right, guys, so we are going to begin investigation. It is now 9.30. In season one, we do have an intro video of what all this stuff does if you want to come closer here and show them. Uh, these are cat balls, uh, spirit box, our laser grid, uh, EVP recorder, we got our EMF reader, dowsing rods, rim pod. Let's, let's start with the first. I'm thinking maybe, because 
We could put one in the bathroom too. Or we could put that yeah, in the bathroom. If, the light if, if we put the anything, bathroom. the portal is in the bathroom. What I learned after investigating is if you want anything in the bathroom, it has to be something noisy. Because we're on that motherfucker now. You want the round pond in the bathroom? Yeah, because we can see pretty much everything else. Rounds on floor, so the equipment doesn't go on. Alright, there we go. We're gonna turn off. Yeah, turn off all lights. Turn off that light, turn off this light. We'll be able to see. Let's see. Let's find out. See. Having a hard time? I can pull the rod wait, pull the rods out. I mean if we lit a candle, well, if we could do the candle, but <gasps> No, no, you're fine, you're fine. Eat it, eat it. REM pod. Did we catch that? I don't know. I don't think we did. It's okay. But I, as you said that, can you hear that? It just went off. Did you hear the REM pod go off? Oh, yeah, it was going off right, right. when you said so, that. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> it's, it's okay. No. <laughs> it's tested. I can't really see. It's like a... Okay, all right. So that was wild. Knock three times and say your name. Trust me. Why? Because it's it's <laughs> respect for anything that comes in here. Hello, my name is Anthony. Hello, my name is Damiano. Hello, my name is Jerry. And today we just want to talk to you. We mean no disrespect. All we want to do is communicate. <laughs> That's all. You are allowed to use the energy from any one of our devices. What I have in my hand is a pair of copper rods. If you want to communicate with us, interact with these rods, okay? Can you give us a name of who we are talking to? I'm gonna say a list of names, cross them if I'm on the right track. Are we talking to Adam? Are we talking to Claire? Thank you, Claire. Can you move them outward? Thank you so much. Point to where you are so we can know where you are. If you are right where you're pointing, can you cross these rods? You're right. That's where she is. Are you doing it? No, I'm not. Do you want to try that? I'm going to give them to my friend Damiano again. Okay, so first let me ask you, are you um, tired? No. Okay, here you go. So what you do is you hold them very, very still. As still as possible. Don't even touch the top. There you go. So what you do now, they're very still. So now you just ask a question. I'm not able to ask. You should ask. Okay. To hold it Claire. Can you point to me with these rods where you at in the where you're at in the room right now? Can you cross these rods if you are to the left of me? Cross these They're rods wrong. if they are if you are behind me. Outwards, please. They're going out. Can you touch these rods together for me, Claire? Did you just hear that? Like that a rattle? sounded like crawling. I heard something. It sounded like a rattle. That didn't sound like footsteps. That sounded like crawling. Is it just you alone? 
If it is just you alone, cross these rocks. That sounds like tapping in the bathroom. I hear something. But I'm hearing tapping. I, I heard that too. And that sounded like it was in this room. It's like it's coming from the bathroom. Like, yeah. And I just felt that shot go through my right shoulder. Get off. Get off. Say, right. good, say goodbye. Goodbye. Not trying mm. to Jeff. Okay. I'm not, my shoulders are already, I'm tired right now. Okay. I don't feel like opening this door. It feels super uncomfortable. Maybe it's because I'm spooked right now. Yeah. Claire, do you want to make this this meter go off again? <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Claire. I just got a shock that went through my whole body. Thank you so much, Claire. Damn. Yeah, thank you. I think that was temperature and movement, right? That was temperature and movement. Because I heard. Damn. Whew. That was temperature and movement. Did you get? I've never heard that. Or did you move the doors? I just closed the door back and then I. He, he's not able to make that go off. Want to test that again? Nothing. Nothing. Damn. No, okay. I, I highly doubt that. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this up so I can hear it better. Is there anyone here with us? Me? Me? What was that? What was that? It sounded like a, like a, like a, like a, like a squeak. Did you hear say it was me? Was that you? No, I heard a squeak. Oh, like yeah, a really I loud high pitched squeak. Wait, wait, guys, this, was that you that just made that sound? I think I heard it say, want more? Is it okay if we film you? No. Would you give us a sign that you are still here? Any sign whatsoever? Isn't it kind of like like dead silent in here all of a sudden. Yeah, it's really quiet. It's, it's yeah. very interesting, isn't it? How everything just goes off like crazy. And all of a sudden. Not a fucking sound. That's what makes this so interesting. You have literally almost all of our devices go off besides cat balls. And all of a sudden, fucking crickets. Yeah, not a sound. This is usually when we move, by the way. Whenever we go on investigations, we move like at this point. Like once it gets really quiet like this, we move on. Why? There's nothing going on. And then for some reason when we come back, it's crazy. It is 10, 10. So why don't we go ahead and move on to the next room? Before we talk about the babies being buried underneath the floorboards, it is important to understand that although this information may seem fascinating to some, it is all up for debate due to the questionable sources. Yet proving or disproving these stories through investigation is the exact reason why we are here in the first place. Based on a combination of a few sources, it is stated that a priest broke his vows after being asked to do last rites for all the prostitutes murdered babies. That that were being buried underneath the floorboard basement. And the reason he was stripped of this power was because one of these babies were his own. And please, if you notice any patterns of evidence throughout the video, comment your connections or findings down below next to that red button that 88% of you still need to push. Guys, I know it's a little dark. What we did is earlier today, we went into the basement. Earlier tonight, we went into the basement, and uh, we're just gonna do a small little investigation there. Mm. Uh -huh. This is where we park. What? All right. Oh, it's 
Hotel. I'm away from my desk right now. Can I call you back in about uh, 10 minutes? Oh, my God. Well, we do. Then we'll keep putting the light on one at a time. No. But uh, if you hurt yourself, I'll be very angry with you. <laughs> Is there anything in there that is just as old as the hotel? Oh, uh, I don't know. Right. Do you know anything about a fire at it app? Uh, no. Nothing. Okay, right there. Right there. It's gonna be empty. Turn this on. If there's anyone here with us, can you please give us a sign by talking into this device? Oh, it said what? Hi. Hi. I heard hi. What was involved down here? That was bad. Was it babies? If it's true that when this was once a brothel, Babies were buried underneath the boards of this hotel in this basement. I need to kill. Do you want us to leave? What? I heard a yes. Yeah, I heard yes. Yeah, I heard yes. Oh my gosh, dude. Turn off the light. Whoa. All good. Thank you so much. I will say, if there is anything in there, you are more than welcome to follow us into room four. We'll leave it up there. In this basement, what happened here? Evil. 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 We both are dead. Evil. What kind of evil took place down here? Let's try to speak clearly. It said evil again. Did you hear that? It said evil again. Can I hurt you? I said it twice. What type of evil? Did you hear that thought of that? Two? No? Like you did. I heard that. I heard devil. I heard that too. Was the was there killing going on down here? Scream a scream of a baby. Yeah. It heard us. I heard a scream of a fucking baby. I heard it too. I, dude, okay. what? what the fuck? And baby being buried under. Yeah. Right. So the rumors are true. Are the rumors true? Go. Are the rumors true? Is what everyone is saying. Oh, what? I mean, like some evil, something like that. Is what everyone is saying about this true? Yes, I am. I heard yes, I am too, but. Were yes you... or no? Is it true or not? Yes or no? Who arrived? Ooh, that said something. I don't. I didn't hear it. But... What is demon? It? You're a demon. Yeah. I heard it too. It does. It just wants to go. It wants us to go. I think whatever it is, it could just be scaring us. You know what I mean? Like, it it could just be like scaring us. You know, it just wants us to go. It knows what happened in this room. If the rumors are true, it doesn't want to be reminded of that. We have to realize that, you know. They knew what happened was bad. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's go back inside and continue investigation. All right. Okay. All right. That's some good shit. Yeah, good shit.
like I don't even know where to begin. Like, like I don't know if we should talk about the fact that there are, you know, con that we just got confirmation that b babies are literally buried in the basement. Probably not anymore. Stuff in here, and whenever we say the name Claire or ask about Claire, it responds immediately. It's just, there's so much going on, and it's like confirmation after confirmation after confirmation. You know, we're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I'm not, I'm trying to put the story together, and I'm having a hard time doing that. Because if there is that many people here, and that That's freaks scary. me out because it's like everything we've done so far it's literally been confirmed i think we should just do the ss method and just try to see if we can get an answer is that yeah. you found that jeff no they're all that for a second Yo, oh fuck! You caught that right there too. That's awesome. We just caught that. The chandeliers are on that are moving as well. Are they? Yeah. We check it. What the fuck? That moved right in front of our eyes, bro. It's an I caught that. That moved right in front of our eyes. All right, we gotta do this. It's active, yeah, right? Some, cool. some of you may know, some of you might not, but if you talk into this device, we are able to communicate with you and we're able to hear you. What? What happened? Give me the camera. What happened? Yeah, that's the TV, or I heard like a, like a scream, but it was a really faint. You heard that? I thought I heard that too. I thought it was like crazy. Like <sighs> I thought I heard someone talk. Did you fucking talk. hear that? I thought I heard someone talk. I heard something over there. Mm, I didn't hear anything. I thought I, was, I thought I was going fucking crazy, bro. Screams at this door. People would hear uh, mourns of Claire or so. Of Miss Claire. Yeah, like right here, yeah. there would be screams. I thought I heard that. Me. He just said me. Was that you? Was that you? Right around. Right around the fucking corner. You have to call. Was that off or off or on? I couldn't. Know. So was that you screaming right around the corner? Was that you? We six. Heard? heard six again. Dude. Story. Is it true that there are six people in this room communicating with us right now? Choir. The choir singing. Some of it might be just radio stations, so be clear on that. Damn. Damn. I don't know what that was. Are there six people talking to six us right spirits. now? trying to communicate with us in this room right now please speak through this device and answer and he will tell us what you say on your left if that fucking ball goes off i will lose my shit that's on his left but you said on your left yeah yeah okay so it's on who's left who's left give me the emf reader Oh, it's right on him. Just uh, don't startle him. Okay. Are you on my left right now? What? I didn't touch it. I didn't touch. That just moved on its fucking own. That just moved on its fucking own. Yeah, right it's right not its fucking a rival. I think I just heard a oh, rival behind you. I didn't do shit. Dude, this is me for a second. Look. Just nothing. I, just, I didn't touch it. We'll just assume that you did. Okay, we'll just assume. Fuck my okay. heart's beating. Okay. Uh, it's fucking just a rifle. I think I just heard a rifle. Dude, behind you. A rifle? A rifle? 
Arrival. Was that you that just turned around? Oh, I wish I almost dropped the camera. Was that you that just moved these balls? Get out. I think. Get out. Get out, and then that just went off. Are we bothering your space? I apologize if we're bothering your space. Yeah. Oh, are we bothering your space? He just said yes. What should we do? If we're bothering his space. Do you want us to leave? Would you like us to leave? This area? This area in particular? Yes. That's fucking wild. Don't believe. Cowboy. Cowboy's a But yes was pretty clear. Yes. Don't believe. Bye. Bye. Bye or lie? Goodbye. Are you leaving? Best believe. Best believe. That's wild. This is one of the most wild sessions I've ever had. And it's Jeff. He's always. He's always gonna say if it's clear. He's, or not. Yeah, he's always gonna say if it's clear. And he's and he is. How long has he been doing this? Literally not even fucking ten minutes. Dude, it's not even three a.m. yet. Four. I just said three a.m. He said four. Is there four people with us? No, now? no, no, no. That's not what that means. Is something gonna happen at four a.m.? Four a.m. Again? Turn around. He keeps saying turn around. Why does he keep saying turn around? He? Sit in that corner, watch my back, and I'll watch your back. He keeps saying turn around. There it is. There it is. And there was also something about how there's a dark or black shadow that roams the halls too, and that's oh, yeah, like a I'm reading sinister. That right now. This is where the picture was. Behind me? Behind? Behind he, you, I think? He keeps saying behind you. I, I just... This, There's no fucking way. Behind me? This is... Uh, I think... Above me. You? What the fuck was that? You heard that shit. What the fuck was that? You heard that shit. Dude, there's the cabin on that window. That's a room. But it's a room no one can go into. Is you hear that box? screech? Can I, I heard that fucking screech. Okay, it wants us to leave. We need to get him out. Get him out now. He's in there too long. Get out. Get the fuck out. We're done. We're done. We're done. Put that down. We both just heard like a... Dude, like a... We heard more than that. We just heard a really screech. Saying, it wants us to yourself. go. It wants us to leave. You can see the fucking chandeliers moving on that thing. Yeah, slightly. I saw it a couple times too, yeah. So we heard tapping on this window. We heard a screech in that corner. We heard, we heard it twice. This actually. ball went off, but it's like, we're just going to assume that's gone. This thing said so many fucking things clear. We said, we asked, um, we asked, um, we were talking about 3 a.m. And then you said 4. And then we're like, is something going to happen at 4 a.m.? I think you said, like, just go or something. Literally one of the quickest SS method sessions I have ever fucking heard to make that much sense so fast. You think about what we're doing right now. We are invading the fuck out of these guys' space. We did so much research on this place. We know that everyone here was a prostitute. We heard stories about babies being buried underground. If like in a in a in order for like stretching like that. Yeah. Like you were like going. That guy's up kind of above you. I'm, I'm frozen. I haven't felt like this in a long time. <laughs> we're getting what we want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. I can go with it. I've never tried it before. That's what I want to try. It's just mm. saying shit. It's just saying where you ask questions, I say shit. Right, so let's do it. Yeah. And remember, guys, throughout this entire fucking conversation. None of these have gone off at all. Not a single one. Yep, not at all. Not one.
Yeah, yeah. How the fuck do you call that a coincidence? Corner you can't sit next to me while I do this shit. I ain't good right there. Listen, if you're gonna sit right there. We're gonna it watch feels each fucking other's weird because it kept saying behind. I better watch my fucking back. That was me, by the way. That's you, okay? No. Do you want us to leave this area, end the session, end the investigation? Bye. Okay, we lost. Bye. Are you saying goodbye? You're not going to communicate with us anymore. So. That just fucking went off. Yeah, look at it. Well, it looks like somebody's here. It looks like someone's here. Sit down. We are sitting. Hmm. I think it's still Don't. going off. That's crazy. What do we not do? Don't what? Can you tell us who is... Making that ball go off? He just got frightened. Yeah, maybe there was, maybe there was. Maybe Do me a favor. Stop the recording and restart. Yeah, are you guys sure this is a good idea? One last time, this last time. Cause we're leaving. Since we didn't get anything good in the room. Yeah, I guess so. too. I'm gonna do the SS belly because he's done it way too much. E, are you okay? E, you okay? I'm okay. I'm just kind of shaken up over what the fuck what happened. happened. Yeah. I mean, you know, that shit kind of shook me. But I'm fine. It's yeah. just like start learning like these these are people. Like a lot of a lot of the times, like these are people that we're talking to. You know. And they have mm -hmm. to live for eternity thinking about that horrible stuff that they did. Like, it's fine to bring it up, but we gotta learn how to do it politely. Then it's like, dude, right? Oh, God. I'll. Oh. That's gonna scar me. <sighs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, turn around. Right, look at, look at, like, where that desk is. Oh, the desk, yeah. The desk, yeah. I thought I saw something peeking and ducking behind that thing. Right when I turned. I was up there, I felt like I saw shit out the corner of my eye. I, I felt like I saw that. I wonder if we should, uh... I'm crazy. We should put a ball over there. I oh. just got chills down my spine. Yeah, 
fiets zit. Right there, you can look over. Yeah, up here, there's a notice that right flash. Alright, you ready? It's going off. Yep, it was. It was off. Yep. So I'm not crazy, I saw something. Because I never really kept saying turn around when I was out here. Guys, we're nowhere near that fucking thing. It doesn't Do you want to switch spots? That's what's going off. I can't get it. Okay, yeah, but that way I can get there dead. Off. It just keeps going. Maybe that's, that's the thing you're talking about. Keep in mind, touching it like that, that's what causes it to do that. When you, you actually have to move that shit. Oh, Is it going? Spirits in here, we've invited you to come join this session and communicate with us through the device my friend has in his hand. It's me. So it said it's, and then it took a second, me. Okay, is this Adam? Is this Adam we are talking to? Breathe. Breathe? I'm relaxed. Maybe he's talking to E. Maybe because you want to be relaxed. When you four. Four. Are there four, four spirits here? Are there four spirits or are you talking about our room? This is Claire. Love. I remember that. It's Claire. Claire, are we speaking to you? you follow us out here? Listen to me. Okay. Mom. What happened to your mom? Did something happen to your mother? Do it. You can't do anything to us. What does do it mean? Smoke. Smoke? Oh, it said, oh my god, it said smoke and it literally sounded like, like someone was burning. Dude, the, there was a fire, wasn't there? Was there? Fire, like a distant scream. Did your mom get caught in a fire? Yes. Was it bad? The roof. Are you okay with us asking you questions? Right now? Or you can just tell us whatever you want. Not this. Not this. Shut up. What? Is this more than one spirit talking? That doesn't sound like Claire talking. It just said shut up. Again? Now and then now. Is there anything else you would like to tell us before we end this session? Is there anybody else in this room that we are speaking to? If so, speak now. Loser. Loser. It's calling us a loser. That can't be Miss Claire. Are you, like, it was like about to say, are you, like, serious? But it was like, are you? And then cut off. Alright, we are probably done. Like, it was really angry. How much time? 26 minutes. Okay. Who are we speaking to? Is this Adam? I witnessed that. Are we still talking about... Hey, everything just sounds like it has so much attitude. Like, it, it's even making me feel, like, angry myself. Like, I feel angry right now. Lies. Did something happen? Lies. One reason. What is the lie? Is the lie have something to do with this? You so, already know. Did we lie to you?
All right, that's fine. Oh my god. You all right? Everything sounded so fucking angry. Like, it's making me angry. I don't know why I'm so fucking angry right now. Mm -hmm. I was completely fine. Like, I'm so tense and angry, I can't even lift my shoulder. Did any of that make sense? Yes. Yeah, some of it. Dude. Bits and pieces. Ooh, dude. I don't think any of the balls went off, though. Right? How much time did I have left? You're, you're like at 820. Well, we, were, we were talking to Claire, and then it sounded like someone else came in. Yes, because Claire was nice. So, but then meaner shit. We got called a loser. The lies has to be about something else. Also, you said four again. Yeah, you did. You something like that. Yeah, you said smoke. You said you mentioned smoke. Ooh, and dude, breathe. I, I it said breathe too. I, I think it was talking about you yeah, I, to relax. I mentioned smoke. And the fire. Yeah, the fire. That's what we yeah. We did mention that too. That just made my eyes water. That was the context with the, with, with the yeah. smoke. Yeah, that, that went with it. And I and also said roof around that too. Roof. That made me so fucking sad. It all, yeah. That Fire, just smoke, so mother. Fucking sad. And roof. Fire, smoke, mother, and Not roof all that. fit together. I heard a scream too. Oh, yeah. A distant scream. I remember that scream. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I'm so sorry. I have never felt this sad at a location before. This this location makes me feel very sad. Like deep. Still This was crazy. And this is your guys' first investigation. Yeah. yeah, but anyways guys, yeah, it's a lot to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed though. Um, as sad as this episode may have seemed, we got to try new things. Um the first episode of the season is kind of kind of crazy kind of hype but um you know that said guys we are gonna go to bed uh get some sleep hope you guys enjoyed please support us in any way you'd like and um yeah that's it and thank you to these guys definitely for joining me i could not do it without them or anyone else that supports me this much on doing it so see you tomorrow peace I felt like a... Yeah. And then... I heard I am God. <laughs>